hello everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time joining me thank you very much welcome please follow the housekeeping rules which is to click on the subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up and leave comments in the section below if you are one of my esteemed returning subscribers Aquaba, Karibu, welcome back we always appreciate you Today I'm going to take a little look, a little deeper look at the current automatic citizenship debate going on in the Gambia. Um, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, um, Blackseat has been, um, shall we say, arrogantly demanding automatic citizenship, not appealing for it, she's demanding it. Um, no basis for that demand. So, um, probably going to play devil's advocate here and give her uh, what I think is a reasonable option um, as to how that citizenship drive can be achieved. Um, first things first, she needs to change the name from automatic citizenship, stop demanding it, and rename it citizenship pathway. So it's a pathway to citizenship. The first thing that needs to happen is there needs to be a registration of all people who want to apply for this process. Um, so we need to identify who they are. Um, and then, um, in order for them to actually achieve that um, second step, they would have to undergo DNA testing to, uh, to ascertain um, do they actually come from the Gambia? Because slaves weren't only taken from the Gambia. Slaves were taken from Ghana, Republic of Benin, um, Cameroon, even as far south as Angola. Um, so we need to trace the heritage. Um, and that would be one of the 50% of the actual process would be identifying um, where you actually originate from via DNA. Um, so you cannot apply or request automatic citizenship um, uh, as a convenience uh, because the Gambia is the cheapest country in Africa. Therefore, that's where you want citizenship. You could probably have originated from Somalia or, or from Sudan. Um, but then you don't want to go there um, because um, those countries are probably not... Um, as attractive as the Gambia is. Um, so once we've identified the people who want to apply for the pathway to citizenship, uh, we've done the DNA, um, and we've established that they actually are uh, descendants of uh, the area in question, um, then we need to have them vetted. And why do I say vetted? Yes, we do need to have them vetted. Um, we do not want um, unsavory characters who feel that they are owed a debt um, to suddenly turn up in the Gambia or any other African country en masse um, with the things that the baggage that they brought with them. On the bankers they carry with them. So ex felons, rapists, murderers, drug dealers, um, domestic abusers, um, criminals basically. Um, I mean, it depends on what you call, you know, I mean, we're talking about felons, so serious people who have committed serious crimes, you know. Um, uh, we definitely don't want them in Africa, you know, please keep them where they are. Um, the next thing I think people need to also realize is um, we have no social security in Africa. Um, so if you're moving to Africa, you need to have the finances to look after yourself because the last thing we want is um, people coming who are broke to Africa um, and looking for handouts. Uh, we've seen that with several YouTubers who've arrived in the Gambia. Um, broke and um, next thing they do they set up a PayPal, a GoFundMe and beg for money. Um, we can't have a nation of beggars. Um, to get around that, I would suggest that um, each family who is relocating, and the key thing is about families, about family reunification. So, a Diasporan Family Reunification Act. So, we're looking at families, not just single men, single women, baby mamas, baby fathers. 
um, I would suggest that they be asked to deposit $25,000 in government bonds or purchase government bonds, which would be used for infrastructure in the country to support them. Um, they should also be required to buy uh, between $30,000 or invest $30,000 and $50,000 in a property, which could be government owned. Um, during the period that they're waiting for their citizenship to come through. Um, they should be subject to biometric, you know, um, data collection. Um, and like I said, um, their background should thoroughly be investigated. Um, so we're not talking about just having people turning up and saying, we want automatic citizenship. Um, we demand an automatic citizenship. The question then becomes, are you going to bring anything to the country or you're going to become a liability to the country. Um, I look at uh, my compatriots from uh, the Caribbean, Jamaicans. Um, in Gambia, there are lots of Jamaicans who are making waves. They are owning businesses, restaurants, bars, hotels, investing in the country and quietly getting on with it. Um, none of the, um, on Facebook, on YouTube, asking for donations, um, you know, talking down to the people and, and requesting things. So that's what I believe. I believe that we need to look at certain things that the um, new citizens would bring to the country as opposed to want to take, just come buy up the land and sit on the land and sell the land off to, you know, Joe Bloggs, who's back in the States. Um, that is not what is going to help the Gambia. So if 100,000 citizens came to the Gambia, could the Gambia take care of them? I think not. Anyway, that is me for today. If you have any comments, leave them in the section below. Let's have a discussion about this. Peace, one love, till the next video.